One of the really cool circuits that you end up studying is the Wheatstone Bridge. The amount of applications in this is insane. It is so cool. The premise of it is simple. We need to find what the resistance of a resistor is and we don't have a voltmeter. But we do have two resistors we know and a variable resistor and we construct this circuit. There's a galvanometer in the middle and the purpose behind this is to balance the variable resistor until the point there is no current passing through. Now that the Wheatstone bridge is balanced, there's a couple of conclusions we can make. Applying classical Ohm's law, we can know what the voltage, current and resistance is at any point or an expression for it anyway. Because the Wheatstone bridge is balanced, the potential at AC and BC must be equal and the potential at AD and BD must be equal. Therefore, we can equate these equations. We can divide the last equation in the first column by the last equation in the second column, beautifully cancel off the currents, and finally get an answer for the last resistance. We get the final expression of the unknown resistance, R2 times R3 over R1, R3 being the variable resistor. This is really cool. We didn't know what the voltage was, we didn't know what the current was, yet we were able to measure what the resistance was. Happy circuiting!